Hello everybody and welcome back. It's been a long time since we've done a video, so I guess I'm gonna try it. So well dig um things wobbly. What why is it doing that? Oh. Oh that's fine. It's about to fall off. So we got the cab on the 92 frame. Should have rolled the dirt bike back so you can see the back of it, but it's sitting on the frame. The core sport mounts have to, I gotta put a bolt through it. And same with the rear cab mounts. But as you can see, the cab is leaning like this. So what I gotta do is it's teetering on that, that middle cab mount that we made out of some rubber. Well, it's like pipe plugs, but it's teetering. So we need we need our rear cab mounts to be welded up higher. Well, we already got them welded in and ain't going nowhere. So what we're gonna do in this video is, I got some pipe here. It's a, uh, I don't know what size it is actually. It's like two and a half inch pipe. That's outside diameter, two and a half inches. So what we're gonna do is I got pieces of it cut where the other one went, and oh there it is, and how it sits. We need two. It's two different sizes. This one's thinner than this one. This one, this one is passenger. This is driver's side. They ain't perfectly flat, but I got a belt sander, and so as you can see in our vise. Well, in the vise, I got, I got some flat steel sitting in there that I'm gonna take, and I got a circle drawn on it, kind of roughed it in, really roughed in. But that circle, I went from the inside diameter. I wanted to sit, I wanna French it in the end of the pipe, and then I'm gonna weld it the inside of it, run a bead around it. Then I'm gonna go on the outside, I'm gonna run another bead around it. But, well, but when it's done, it should sit inside that piece of pipe flat. It should be flush with the edge of this pipe. And that will be our spacer and we'll drill a hole through both sides. And that's gonna be what holds up the back of the cab to space the rubber cab mounts. But, I mean, I could, when I drill the hole oversize it, stick a piece of pipe in there. And so you can't clamp down, but that cab ain't heavy at all. This is probably more than enough to hold it. But all we gotta do is take this and round it off. And I'm gonna show y'all, this is all in real time because I don't really edit videos. I ain't got the, I don't know how. And I gotta get a computer. The one I have is kind of crappy. But we're gonna round this off to at least where all the black paint's gone. Then we'll take that, we'll clean the metal, the the um, paint off of it and get it sitting. And then we'll, I got two of these already drawn out. Then we'll go ahead and get this and done. Then we'll start cutting out the next, which this is gonna take a little while for us to do this. But it's one of the things you just gotta do. I gotta grind it and rock. Today I need a flat disc, so I'll be right back. Find one in the toolbox. I got a bunch of old junky ones. Black discs are getting expensive. I don't know about y'all, but they're gonna flat discs are expensive as crap. Like, these things are like $5 a piece now. Tracks, flyer, loads, or wherever. You buy them, man. I mean, they're all. Everywhere sells them the same. Every now and then, track fly will have them on sale, though. And we'll buy like a five pack of them. Right. I normally use the grinding rock, you know, get rough things and then come back with a flat disc to smooth it all out and use grinding rock to knock all the rust off most of the time. We've got to plug in our angle grinder. Walmart angle grinder. Yeah, and we're going to use tools that are like, that are really cheap to do this. I got a Harbor Freight Flux for MIG welder. We could get to use the Miller to do it, the MIG welder, the gas welder, but they're going to flux score. I don't know why people talk bad about it. It really, 
I ain't a bad welder. I mean, you can do everything with it. I mean, I wouldn't go weld frames together with it. It's not made, it ain't made for that much of welding, but you can do about anything you want with them. So, let's get to it. See what we get done here. symmetrical but it'll be close enough for me to close the gap with the welder. One of them things, you know, you didn't think about it. So I wanted to get to a flat bit so I can get everything smoothed out. See how that, that ring in there is sitting all flush, as you can see. It's, it's flush in there. And that welding magnet, and see, we got we got some gappage right there. This welding magnet will hold us all flat, so I'll do half of it. No, well, I'll only be able to weld one on the, from the inside. Hmm. Anyways, I'll just weld the other one from the outside, but... Or I'll drill a hole in this and I'll, well, I'll tack it on the inside as best I can. But sitting flush in there, that's what we want. 
And it's hot too, very hot. So, we gotta cut another one of these out. Same thing, I already got it drawn out on the steel. We just gotta cut it out. This I'll be using a just normal old cut off wheel. It's an old DeWalt one I found laying around the shop. Maybe it don't blow apart on me. Y'all, you don't need to be take. I mean, a lot of people who do this all the time know that on these, these little nuts right here on your angle grinder, you ain't got to be taking the little tool and cranking them down. You will, you'll, it's over tightening them. You're, you're over tightening them. You don't, you just need a, well, no. See, that's loose. Tighten it down. That's all it needs. You don't need to sit there and crank on them. You'll never get them undone. Chop those side off, then we'll come take the corners off. Kind of rotate it around. Like we were doing when we were grinding in the corners, the rest of the way off, flat this. take that corner that corner off then I'll flip it over and do the exact same thing on the other side on the top off right there but knock that off Should have to do is grind it clean. It's enough to do it with a flat bit. I ain't gotta use the rock on. We're only gonna. I'm only gonna do one of these in the video. 
I'll do the other one off camera. It'll be the same thing. But I'm going to get this cleaned up and we'll get to MIG welder and we'll weld that thing. But I'll probably grind it. Clean it up a little bit after I get done welding it. But it's been a minute since so. I. Well, welded the other day. But done anything welding wise that was, you know, really structural. I mean, this gives out cag fall frame, but no biggie. But I'm trying to get better at it, doing metal work on the truck and everything. I think I got a lot of the truck roughed in, the door gaps and everything ain't set. But I gotta get a new bedside. I mean, my friend, we rent that, and that and it was, it's trash. It's trash, is what it is. We welded a new wheel arch in it, and um, well, when metal. When you're welding a piece of metal, when you're welding it, it expands. When it's liquid, it's expanding as much as the metal can. And when it cools, it shrinks. And when it cooled, it pulled in like this on the panel we welded in. So now the panel goes flat and it dips and it comes back up about a half an inch in some spots. We got all the lines, body lines lined up, but it was terrible on the bottom. The front side of the bed in front of the wheel was in like this, about, I don't know, probably four or five inches. It was terrible. It's sitting over there. We were going to hammer it back out, but I ain't no hammering that out. And it's it's so wavy in spots. It's really trash is what it is. We're going to scrap it probably. It's so bad. I could some of the good metal that's left in it out, you know, and use it for patches and spots, but now we're just gonna get a bedside for it. thicker one so it's gonna be passenger side so i gotta get in here and clean all that rust and that white paint marker out then i'm gonna clean up the inside outside of it so what am i i need like a die grinder with the hang on, i got some i'll grab it back i got a big on die grinder I'm already ready to go yes yeah, work
air compressor kicks on well, I'll just turn it off. It's pretty loud. It's homemade, made out of a 250 gallon um, propane tank. It's got a V-twin compressor on it from Harbor Freight. Let's see how much this one gets now. Let's go to the, let's go get the Dremel. See if it's got anything. shop so this style you just when you want a new one just push it and it holds it it don't hold very good but you hold it enough to clean this up right quick knock the rust out of it Doing. 
Happy Pound Terminal. Should do it for us on this. Yeah, that's toasty. Now let's put one off. Let's take this and do it right here. I got the drummer. That's the cute part on that. That sucks on that. Hit it with angle grinder. Got this other one to clean up. Remember, y'all, do y'all safety squints when you're using an angle grinder. Well, that's kind of more difficult. Back to this one. No I can just take it and hold it, but that wasn't gonna work.
just will better drop it. Boy, it's hot. what I do every day. Next order of business, let me grab my little baby 1.5 titanium mix. That's literally all that it is. It holds a little roll of wire. I don't know, even know what I got set on. I got it running hot. All right. One of these old plates we got here. We didn't make sure both of them fit. They both fit. I'm gonna grab our magnet. Just had it work a piece of crap. Well, might tell you a little bit. No, I need to just take a hammer to it. What I need to do, right. let's get a hammer. Found a hammer. This is what we're going to use for a hammer. Don't do this. That's what we need to work. Seating. Well, it's in there now. Oh, I forgot to turn the camera back. It's in there. Nice and flush. This needs to go out. Oh, that was too much. Metal splinter talking to me. Not in my flangey. Nah. So I'm just gonna plug it into a 110 outlet. It's already turned on apparently. Get the hoses out of the way so it don't, you know, mouth them or anything. 
work my gloves. If any of y'all can see it. Nah, y'all can't. Alright, it's out. I hope it's out. Anyways. These welding gloves. These are TIG gloves I'm wearing. The thin so you know you can hold the rod. Filler rod and everything. All right. Let's see if we can work them out. That's not. You can probably see where I tacked it. That should do us pretty good. Looks like it pulled in. See if I adjusted it in, we're going to just sand it. You don't really want your welding leads in a big hoop. You don't want them in all wound up. You just want them in one big loop. All right, we're going to run a bead in between the tacks. And that was what we call blowing a hole in. It is running way too hot for this. Yeah. That's not as adjusting this. Feed him on his next two taps.
probably ain't gonna be able to do the other side. I gotta get me some wire. I'm not welding wire. Going nowhere, I can say that. Oh my god, it's so. I get my clamp on. Looks like so we got penetration. Pretty nasty now, the flux core build up and everything. And well, I'm going to finish this up. I probably won't do another video on this, but I'm going to finish this all up. Y'all see the what I'm doing. I just got to weld another circle on the other side and drill a hole in. But I'm going to get these in. I'm going to, when we get the new bedside, I'll do a video on that. I'll probably do a video on finish the bed floor, but. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.